Hi guys! Today on Divas Can Cook, we are making easy monster cookies. If you have never had these before, you guys, oh my gosh, please make them today, okay? Alright, let's get started. Okay, so first you want to start by adding your chunky peanut butter into a large bowl. You can use the regular peanut butter as well, but the chunky is just so much better. Okay, now we're going to add in a little bit of sugar, some brown sugar. And then we're going to add in that softened butter. Okay, and now you want to just take that mixer and just mix it up just until it's all creamy and combined. And I love that this is a one bowl recipe. Don't forget you guys, you can get this recipe on my blog, divasandcook.com with a ton of other recipes. So go check that out. Okay, this looks good. Everything's combined, so that's perfect. Just like that. Then we're going to add in our eggs and our vanilla extract. All right, go ahead and throw in those eggs. And then that vanilla extract. I'm using that Mexican blend vanilla. I love that vanilla. Oh my god, it's my favorite ever. So go ahead and just mix that up until, you know, the eggs and vanilla. It's nice and combined. That's perfect, just like that. Okay, now we're going to add in lots and lots of quick cooking oats. And then you're just going to mix that up just like that. And you guys, if you're enjoying this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment, rate, subscribe, all that stuff. I so appreciate it. All right, now I'm going to add in a little bit of baking soda and just go ahead and mix that right on up. And can you believe this recipe has no flour in it? That's crazy, but it still bakes up so wonderful. All right, and that's all mixed up. It looks good and it tastes good just like this. All right, now for the add-ins, I'm using chocolate chips, M&Ms, and some um, caramel bits. You can really use whatever you want. The uglier these cookies are, the better. So go ahead and load it up with whatever you want. Coconut, toffee, whatever. Then go ahead and mix that up until it's well combined, just like that. This is so fun to make. I had so fun making this, and Isaac didn't even want to help me. Crazy. Okay, now I'm going to scoop out about two tablespoons because I like really, really big monster cookies. All right, now go ahead and place it onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Now I went ahead and flattened my cookies out because I prefer a chewier, thinner cookie as opposed to a fluffier, you know, rounder cookie. But you can, you know, you don't have to. Now I'm just going to place a little bit of M&M's and chocolate chips in there just to make them look a little bit prettier when they bake. I know they're supposed to be ugly and they're monster cookies, but I want them to be kind of prettier. So I went ahead and stuffed some of those in there. Now I have my oven preheated to 350. I'm going to bake it for 12 minutes. After 12 minutes, you want to let them sit in the pan for about four minutes just until they cool off a little bit and they'll continue to bake and then you can go ahead and remove them and place them on a baking sheet and that way they'll be nice and chewy and have like the perfect texture if you let them cook a little bit while they're sitting in the pan and then you're done you guys wasn't that easy and I love these cookies it's like eating a um, oatmeal cookie peanut butter cookie M&M cookie and like a chocolate chip cookie all in one. They're so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. You can get it at usincook.com. Bye!